SpaceX is getting ready for blastoff. Yeah, in just a few hours, a groundbreaking launch will happen on our space coast. Now, this is new video from the launch pad. On board is a new capsule designed to one day carry astronauts to the International Space Station. A test dummy will be on board this flight, though. But if all goes well, real astronauts could be heading back to the space station on board U.S. rockets for the first time in nearly eight years. So last August, I was in Houston when the crews for the first flights were announced. We take a look back at why our return to space is vital for the future. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our commercial crew astronauts. This was the moment last August at Johnson Space Center in Houston when we got to meet a new class of NASA astronauts. Round of applause for the astronauts that will be flying on the Starliner and Crew Dragon. The seven men and two women were greeted like rock stars. And why not? Soon, they will be blasting off from the third rock from the sun and heading into space. This new journey in space exploration will begin in our backyard at Kennedy Space Center. When liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle, America will continue the dream. It will be the first time since 2011 American astronauts will travel in American-made rockets, lifting off from U.S. soil. In other words, this is a big deal. I think America needs this. They really do. Uh, you know, at 135, STS-135, there were a million people who apparently came from all over just to sort of say goodbye. And I hope a million people show up to, you know, welcome us back to uh, an active launch program. We've been busy in space. We've been counting on the Russians to get us back and forth, though. I think it's time to take that business back. In 2011, astronaut Chris Ferguson was the commander of Atlantis, the final space shuttle flight. He is scheduled to be on the first operational mission to the ISS on board the Boeing Starliner. As things stand right now, and with a successful launch this Saturday of the SpaceX Dragon, it looks like the Dragon crew will be the first to make history this go-round as Americans head back to space. Bob Bankin and Doug Hurley are scheduled for the first test flights to the ISS aboard the Dragon. Both are veterans at the space shuttle program who say the Dragon is a different beast. From the shuttle perspective, we did a lot more uh, hand flying of the space shuttle. The shuttle had a lot more switches, circuit breakers. Uh, it took a couple people uh, and sometimes maybe three or four people to actually do the actual flying of the vehicle uh, thoroughly, uh, whereas these vehicles have a lot more automation and in a, in a lot of phases of flight, we won't be flying the vehicle at all. It's just so incredible. So the test dummy we mentioned, Ripley, is wearing the spacesuit astronauts will wear, and it will be conducting tests in space to see if there are any issues once the real astronauts suit up. Mm -hmm. And if all goes well with the launching, the docking, and the returning to Earth, that's a lot, we could <laughs> see astronauts on the launch pad sometime this summer, so we have it, our fingers yes. crossed. I can't believe it's going to be that soon. Right. I mean, I feel like we've been talking about this for so I long. I know. And it's, I know. It's finally here I almost. I know.